What's going on guys? Today, I'm going to be reacting to Thomas Doc Games 96 track tier list or ranking as someone that plays this game like religiously and I would consider myself pretty good as I've been able to play some of the best people in the world in this game and beat some of them. I take all these tracks into heavy consideration more than the average casual person. So I'll look at these tracks a lot different than what someone else will. And maybe eventually I'll make my own tier list. I know that takes a lot of time, a lot of editing, which I'm new at. So, but I figured today, let's see what the casual audience mixed with maybe competitive would rank on 96 tracks in this game. So for me, I love certain tracks because of bagging or because of front running and other people might hate it. But there's different reasons why I love certain tracks. So every track that they show, I'll try to give my take on it and try to keep it fast paced because I don't want this to be a super long video. All right, bold prediction. I'm going to say worst track in the game. I'm going to say Toad's Turnpike. It's got to be the worst track just because it's just boring. You're just driving in just a figure eight. Like it's just cars. They really nerfed how many cars there are. Like, in Mario Kart 64, it used to be crazy with all the shells bouncing around, bananas everywhere. And this one is just not as crazy, so I would just, and the music's just, I just feel like that's the worst track in my opinion. Best track probably has to be We Rainbow Road. So, in 96th place is yeah, 3 ds not surprised. Circuit, with a score of just 2.45. This is, according to all of you, the single worst track in the entire game. I would say Tone's Turnpike has to be a lot more boring, because at least on Toad's Circuit, there's shortcuts you can take, and there's a gliding section. I mean, yeah, Toad's Turnpike has a glider section, but, like, it's optional. Like, at least here you have shortcuts, and you can bag on here, like... Toast Turnpike is literally just a figure eight front running and you can't catch up unless you get like a shock dodge or something. And this track, yeah, it's I like the concept of it, but just not a fan of it, especially the ending part when you get off the glider. One, it's almost impossible to get to the top half. Second, just the sand at the end always seems to it's always chaotic there. Like you always end up getting hit by something or if like there's a banana way up ahead and you see it because of the physics you can't move out of the way of it so that's another frustrating thing about it the music in it it's all right but no it's someone as someone that loves dry bowser like this track's kind of disappointing but i mean i'll still take it mario circuit 3 i think people ranked it so low is because it was already in wii and again it's a super nintendo track so not much they can do with it i love this track because of bagging so I'm going to rank it a lot higher because of the fun factor of bagging on it. But I don't, know, I don't really have any issues with Mario Circuit 3. A lot, of, a lot of shortcuts you can take too. So that makes it a lot more fun. Any track that basically you can't take shortcuts on is going to be more boring to me than what it would be probably to the casual person. Oh, I forgot about Tokyo Blur. New York Min is probably just slightly worse. I think Tokyo Blur has better music. But Tokyo Blur is a bigger letdown because of what they could have done with the track, which is why I think it's ranked so low. Up, yeah, Dry Dry Desert. Second. I'm going to say all the sand levels are going to be ranked low. No, just the physics on them just aren't fun. This is a good bagging track. So I'm starting to notice a lot of bagging tracks are ranked really low, which makes sense for the casual audience. But for me, someone that's competitive, that uh, loves to bag and really understands the concept of this game and how it works. I'm gonna rank it a little bit higher, but this one is probably one of my least favorite bagging tracks, if not my least favorite. I mean, easily another, if you can front run or you can bag on this one, which is why I really do like it a lot. You can do both. So it does have good shortcuts, but of course with a casual person, it's just gonna be boring. So it's gonna be like the same pattern I'm noticing. Is tour London, London Loop. Is a GBA. Sunset Wild, Sunset Wild is probably like my favorite GBA track. Uh, probably my favorite GBA track to bag on easily. It's so easy to per to predict what's gonna happen on that track. And London Loop, yeah, that one's not so bad. It's it's boring, but I like that it's long and you have that big shortcut at the end. London Loop, I would say it's a little bit better than 90th, but maybe if the music was better, if a lot a little bit more was going on with it then yeah, I would say it would rank higher, but it's kind of just, nothing really happens and it's a long track. Rush, Paris Promenade. 
Bangkok Rush, I'm going to say it's ranked so low because of how many turns it is. So a lot of people, or at least a lot of casual players, aren't going to like a lot of turns because the mini turbo, they may not know how to perfect the turns a lot, so they're probably going to rank it low. Paris Promenade, I'm going to say it's kind of the same format as London. I feel like they're kind of similar in their way. They're both kind of just straight long tracks with not much going on. How is New York Minute, like, New York Minute needs to be, like, right after Tokyo. How is... Paris worse than Tokyo or Paris worse than New York or what? Amsterdam Drift is a good one. I'm gonna say because of all the turns people don't like it. I don't really see an issue with Amsterdam. I still think it's a good track. Berlin Byways. Berlin Byways. Yeah, okay. That one's... That one... I don't really have much issues with it. I figured it would rank higher. The music's really good in that track. I don't know why people would rank it lower honestly i don't have too many issues with the track a lot goes on it's never really boring you have a lot of turns and then you only go straight for like maybe one portion of the track laps. la laps wait how's sydney better than la laps i mean i'm being biased la laps is like my favorite track the music the atmosphere like everything on that track is so great but i don't know i don't know why la laps is ranked below sydney but whatever i'm gonna skyguard is fine they did nerf it a lot completely different than the original um sky Garden's big front running track so i can see why people would rank it low because if you're in the back you're basically not going to catch up on this track unless you get a shock dodge okay no ice ice outpost needs to be under sky garden sky garden is a lot better than ice ice outpost ice ice outpost is i don't know it's just too the ice physics is just i don't know it's just too bland like not much goes on the music's okay like no. What? Bro. Water Park is like the worst base track in this game. Honestly. Like. I don't even know what to say about Water Park. It's so boring. Like. And it comes up way too much online. Like way too often it comes up. Mario Circuit. And Mario Thank Circuit's you. fine. And Mario Circuit's just basic. Sherberland. I mean it's okay. The music's fine. They, it's such a big improvement from the original, so I mean, it's okay. It just comes up too much. That's why I'm not liking it as much. Sky Sunday, yeah, it deserves to be down here. It's basically a sight bike with anti gravity. You just go straight and do tricks the entire time. Big front running track, impossible to catch up, no shortcuts. Why is Madrid so low? Madrid has like one of the best songs out of all the city tracks. I think it's a little early. I think over time, Madrid will grow on people more because it's been only a few weeks. Big bagging track, probably one of my favorite, my favorite game Game Boy Advance tracks in the game easily. Big bagging track, build extension, very easy to kind of predict how the race is gonna go. So I'm gonna rank it higher, obviously. Cheeseland, I mean everyone, I know Cheeseland is a big love or hate relationship. I love Cheeseland. The bagging on this one is probably the most popular bagging track, and out of all the tracks in the game, maybe next to Yoshi's uh, Yoshi Island or Yoshi Circuit, sorry. But Cheeseland, definitely one of my favorite tracks. Just the bagging in it and the music. It's just the only actual sand track that I do love. I don't really have too many complaints. So it can be a little confusing at first. But I say Rome's fine. Turnpike, bro. This is like the worst track in the game. You, it's just an 8. You just drive in an 8 and nothing happens. It's a front running track. Like, you can't catch up or anything. Like, what? This game's fine. Cube, baby, baby Park. I used to hate Baby Park. I don't mind it, but it's so easy to bag on now, so I don't mind it. Sweet Sweet, sweet, sweet Canyon, surprisingly I'm not bored of that track. Even for a bass track, that one's still really good. Foreign Circuit needs to be a lot higher. Big bagging track, just a good fun track. Probably the best Mario Circuit out of all of the Mario Circuits in the game. And keep in mind the reason I'm I rate the base track so low because I've been playing Mario Kart 8 since the Wii U, so I'm playing almost like 10 year old tracks basically. I've been playing them for almost 10 years, so it's just those I'm just sick of. Athens is, Athens is good. I, I hear a lot of hate about Athens. Athens needs to be higher than Choco Mountain. I feel like that's N64 nostalgia that people are picking Choco Mountain. Because Choco Mountain's a big front running track, you can't do anything, you can't really catch up. There's like two shortcuts, and that's it. And they got rid of the wall, or you can't fall off or anything. If you could fall off like you used to, then it'd probably be ranked higher. Sydney Sprint's fine, good music, good layout. 
don't really have many complaints about Sydney Sprint. Sprint. No. Okay, this is definitely a casual like favorite track because this track, all you do is so boring. It's just straight, straight trick, straight trick. That's all you do. Two turns on this entire track. Like it's cool, but no, it's so boring. It's always chaotic. A lot of professional Mario Kart players or competitive players are gonna hate this track, including myself. It just takes no skill to win on this track. It's all just luck. This track comes up way too much online. It's fine, but it comes up way too much. Lake's a good track. It's pretty chaotic. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a bagging track. It could be, but it's. I'd say it's mainly a front running track. Ooh. Dolphin Shoals is probably the worst water track in the game. The music's really good. That's the only thing that saves it. Comes up, comes up way too much online. This comes up way too much online. Twisted Mansion. I'm so tired of it. I will put a clip in right now. Please do not get Twisted Mansion. If we get Twisted Mansion, I'm not wrong. What's cold? Oh my gosh! Green Twisted Mansion, and we have Twisted Mansion. Stupid track. We choose random. Oh, stupid tracks in a row, dude. Like, how do you get random Twisted Mansion? How often this thing comes up, and it was cool at first, but just tired of it now. Drum Bridge, good track, not really many complaints. Good shortcuts, fine. The music was overhyped, but it was, it's a good track, not many complaints. Snowland's great, that big shortcut that you can take at the end, the gap jump basically makes it so much more fun. Good music. Royal Raceway, surprisingly a bass track I'm not tired of yet. Good track. Riverside's a very fun bagging track. Uh, definitely one of my favorite GBA tracks. Definitely one of my favorite tracks in the game. Uh, not many complaints on it, just a big bagging track. A road, I mean, it has a good rainbow road. Not many complaints about it. Comes up a little too often online, but it's still good. This one I'm still not tired of, even though I've been playing it since Mario Kart 7. Just such a good track. Can't really complain about it. It's a... Uh, it's a major front running track, really a driver's track, because if you get those line if you get your lines right and your turns good, you'll get a big breakaway on this track. So this track's very rewarding for the I guess more Mario Kart purist. Sounds alright. It was exciting when it came out. It's okay. I don't have that many complaints. I do love that big shortcut you can take at the end of it. But other than that, it's it's fine. It's kind of a short track, so it's not that bad. Mario Stadium. Good bass track, not really tired of it. Well, usually all the Wario tracks are going to be good regardless. Bowser City is really fun still. Very rewarding for the a Mario Kart purist who just is really good at getting mini turbos and driving really well in this game. Get a big breakaway on here. Major front running track. Why is Moomoo Meadows top 50? This track has two, two item boxes. Two. That is it. How is this? What is so fun about this? It's like you might as well play the game without items. Two item sets. That's it. Why did they get rid of the third item set? I'll never know. That really made this track so much more boring. Like this needs to be like bottom, like bottom, bottom, man. Like, well, why did they port this track over one of the other Wii tracks? Like they could have gave us another Wii track instead of this. Rock Rock Mountain is fine. It's so, okay. I mean, it's okay. It's big bagging track. You just take the shortcut on the last lap. Basically get a shock dodge or just golden mushroom in the grass and that's it. In 47th place, Singapore we Speedway. Have that's Singapore's... gonna be the best one. Okay. That one's a good one. I still love Singapore Speedway. Good music, good track, really pretty layout. Probably the fact that it was what wave four helps it a lot. Good music. Um I feel like maybe over time it'll go up more just because it's kinda new. But no complaints on a really good music. An actual fun ice track. The Bill Subway has definitely still been a really good track, even though it's almost 10 years old. It's always chaotic, but it's like the fun chaotic that you want, if that makes sense. Dragon Driftway comes up way too much. It's a good track, but comes up way too much online. It's one of my favorites in the 3DS. Not many complaints about it. A lot of these now I'm not gonna have much complaints about, just my perspective on it. Thwomp, no, okay, hold on. I just said I'm not gonna have much complaints. Thwomp Ruins, why are you up here? Like, this needs to be bottom 50, like, oh my gosh, this track is so boring, it's like, and it comes up way too much online, like, way too much, this is gonna be the track they bring back to the next Mario Kart game, and it's gonna be so boring, bro. Flat Top Cruise, good music, good track, just 
play it too much online. It's not good enough to be played all the time. And it was fine. Not much complaint about it. it. Had a beautiful glow up in this game. Calamari Desert. I still like it. Good. I love how they changed it on the third lap. And then it, Calamari Desert is actually a bagging track. I would say because of that ending part. Especially if you get the shock dodge. But it's a good track. It's fine. Not many complaints about it. Wild Woods. No, no. Wild Woods needs... This track... I swear this is the most common track online. Like this comes up way too much if this track didn't come up so much then sure the concept of this is cool the fact that you're like on a tree like that anti-gravity it's really cool but it comes up way too much like if this track if i didn't have to play this track every time i get online then maybe i'd have a different opinion on it but it comes up way too much these are good i understand not much goes on but it's probably one of my favorite circuits good music um beautiful layout not much complaints on it. I think it's a little too early to judge it still. Give it more time. Animal Crossing, okay, depends. It's the spring and summer is the best one. Fall's okay. The winter's the worst one. Uh, this, I feel like, is just because of people having N64 nostalgia. This is like, I, I'm so tired of Yoshi Valley. Like, it comes up way too much. Like, almost as bad as Wild Woods. Like, I feel like this is just nostalgia for people. That's why it, it's so popular, like... And that and the fact that Yoshi's the best character in the game, like, nah. Mario Plant Cove is actually a really amazing track for being underwater, considering I hate underwater tracks. I love this track. The music's really good, and it's actually a long track, and I'm a fan of long tracks in this game, actually. Blizzard Castle is still a good track. I'm just tired of it. It's 10 years old, but it's still a good track. Why are these bass tracks, like, so high? Like, no. Why are these bass tracks so like Toad Harbor is so boring, bro call it mid harbor like it's so boring but it makes sense because to the casual person they're gonna rate the base tracks like so high probably half of them don't even have the booster course pass track the fact that they made it go backwards on the third lap is amazing amazing music tyrell circuit uh still a great track shy guy falls needs to be lower than hyrule circuit definitely shy guy falls too common Say way too much online. Yoshi Circuit, amazing track. I love it for the fact of the bagging part. Good music and a lot of turns, which makes it a lot, a lot more fun. Just all the turns you can do on it. And then just the bagging just makes it so fun. I mean, it's a good track, but major front running track. Really boring. Not a lot is really going to happen in it. So. Ninja Hideaway. I used to hate this track, but it grew on me over time. I do like Ninja Hideaway now. So good music and just different. It really is just different. There's nothing really like it. You're just racing on roofs and inside a basically just a, I don't even know what you would call it, a ninja hut. I don't know what you would call it, but open road. Still not tired of it. Good track, good music. I like the shortcuts on it. Not many complaints. GBA. Crazy circuit, big front running track. Um, really simple track, honestly. Not much complaints about it. Sunview Highway. I like this track a lot. It's so easy to front run on this. The only downside is if you get caught in the back, you're not going to catch up because there's boost panels everywhere. You're not going to catch up unless you get a shock dodge with a bullet bill or something. You're really not going to catch up on this track. But I really do love this track. Good music too. I was excited when it came to Mario Kart 8. It's okay now. It's not something I really vote for anymore. But I can see why it's up here. Oh yeah, I forgot about the F-Zero stages. Of course, they're going to be high. New City's fine. It doesn't it used to come up way too much but now it doesn't come up that much now i mean music city and big blue are always going to be good tracks the fact that they're in the game is just amazing oh i'm so tired of electrodome it is a cool track but oh man does it get picked way too much it's not that good a koopa cave definitely a top 10 course easily the music the glow that this had is still just as fun as it was in mario kart Wii. sunshine report easily the best base mario kart 8 track in the game Amazing music, just a very simple but fun layout. The fact that even the sound changes because of the planes, like everything about this course is just amazing. This course will easily get ported over to the next Mario Kart. Luigi Stadium, amazing GameCube track. Definitely one of my favorite GameCube tracks. I'm always excited when it comes up. I love playing this track. Really, uh, this is like one of the few tracks I think they truly remade for this game and not for tour. I mean, there's only two Bowser castles in this game, sadly, but I like this one a lot more than 
the other Bowser Castle. Three. It's a little short, but it's still really good. I feel like that's just DS nostalgia for people. It, it's not a track I vote for, but it's not a track I'm mad about if it lands on it. I'm getting tired of this track. It was a cool track in Minecraft 7, but man, I'm getting tired of this track. It comes up way too much. Way, 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 way too much. I mean, it's cool concept, but it's, it's just way too much. It's not good enough to be coming up that much. 64 nostalgia basically is why this one's so high. This one I used to hate. I don't mind it now because I understand how to win on it. You just... It's big front running track. If you don't get in the front right away, you're basically not going to catch up. It's so hard to catch up on this track. I love this track. Definitely one of my favorite tracks in the game. I just... I remember hearing about the leaks of it. Just a bathroom track. And I'm like, man, a bathroom track? Like my, is, How are they going to make that work? And of course, Nintendo never... Of course, Nintendo, like... They just always find a way to make things work. The fact that this track is just so good. It's just a bathroom track. Like, the music's amazing. Like, I really love this track. f Zero's in the game. Can't really beat that. Of course, everyone just seems to love that track. It's alright for me. The gap jump's fun to do. I mean... I don't really have much complaints about Mushroom Gorge. Other than the fact that you tend in this game to fall off the mushrooms easily if you don't bounce on them perfectly every time. It'll tend to throw you off, which gets annoying. Amazing GameCube track. Probably my favorite GameCube track in this game. The music is amazing on this. Like, this was like one of my favorite tracks during Double Dash days. So, I really do love this track. I, like, I'm still just as, as excited to play it now as I was day one when it came out. Amazing track, the double gap jump. I mean, what else can you say? Amazing music. Yeah, Pokemon Mall, just amazing. It's not as chaotic as it was in the Wii, but like, it's still an amazing track. I love this track so much. Big front running track, but it's just amazing. A lot of Wii tracks are gonna be top, I'm noticing that. Maple Tree Way, amazing track. I mean, it doesn't get old. The music's amazing. The atmosphere on it, everything's just great about this track. Really, no complaints. Very fun layout. The Wario tracks never disappoint. This base water track, I mean, I'm not tired of it, but I mean, I just rather play DLC tracks just because this track's so old. But it's still an amazing track, probably the best. Mm, no, Wario Coliseum is still the best Wario's stadium or track that's ever been out. But this one is definitely up there, especially for being an ice track too. Amazing music. This track is so chaotic, but I do love it. Amazing music in this track. Like, it was just exciting that we knew we were going to get a Yoshi Island track. I mean, what is there not to love about this track? Just the layout of it, the, the Easter eggs on it. Like, just, there's nothing like to hate on this track. I really do love it. It is chaotic. I mean, that's the only thing you could hate on it. But I definitely love this track. Big front running track. Uh, very easy to lose your race if you miss the shortcut at the end. Easy pinball. Waluigi Pinball, I wish they would have fixed the music because it's literally the same as DS Wario Stadium. You could have just made some subtle changes to it, but I still love this track. I still love Waluigi Pinball. I mean, it's just the atmosphere of it. I mean, you can't beat it. It's been amazing since the DS, so really no complaints about it other than the music they could have maybe mixed it up a little bit. But other than that, great track. DS Waluigi Pinball. And add the sound effects for the item like or well from when you go in the little slot machine at the bottom they could have like added that like they just the little touches made it so much more fun place oh wow is let's see rainbow roads Road. wow I am so happy to see this course getting so much it's so love. beautiful this is such a beautiful rainbow road this was my favorite rainbow road till the wii one came in but yeah this is such a beautiful rainbow road definitely deserved to be in here my only disappointment is I wish over Rock Rock Mountain they would have put like Woohoo Loop or Woohoo Island in like maybe the next Mario Kart game but this is such a beautiful Rainbow Road like it really deserved to be in here and the music's fine on it but just a gorgeous layout big front running track so I mean it's a nice long track too so no complaints about it of course number one's gonna be Wii Rainbow Road best track in the game easily best music in the game like they really went all out on this track it's so beautiful the music just hits you so hard like there's no complaints on this track it's literally just the perfect rainbow road i don't think this rainbow road will ever ever be top like it is just so perfect and i will continue to keep playing this rainbow road forever 
been playing the Wii one forever. The countless hours I had on the Wii using the Flame Runner with Funky and Dry Bowser. Like, oh man, they really, this one really hits the, the Wii fans at heart. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope I gave like some valid points or kind of made it entertaining for why I personally, how I personally feel about each track in this game. Maybe eventually I'll make my own tier list because I definitely don't agree with a lot of these. Especially all these bass tracks being so high, they definitely should have been a lot lower. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, Thomas Game Docs, amazing YouTuber. I've watched him for quite a while now. Be sure to check out his channel down below in the description. But if you guys ever want to join me on Mario Kart, I do stream this game almost every day on my Twitch. So that will be in my description as well. Thanks for watching.